Welcome to the wonderful world of Meyer Greenblatt. Thank you for joining me for Vintage Postcards Part 6. This is Part 6 of a series of videos where we look at vintage postcards and sometimes read the back. So today we're at, we're at Part 6. We're getting close to the end. There might be just this and one or two more parts. So we're going to begin with the University of Puerto Rico in Rio Piedras, Puerto Rico. That's beautiful. This is an old card. It has this finish that is matte, right? And what is this? Is this, a, this is an illustrated photograph, I think. I feel like this is a photograph that it has been painted over or drawn over. I'm unsure. Let's check out the back. It's a beautiful photo or a beautiful card, I should say. Beautiful piece of art. I'm not sure what it is. All right. Uh, U.S. postage, four cents. Airmail, University of Puerto Rico, Rio Piedras, Puerto Rico. With its magnificent tower in Carillon, and well, or Carillon, I, I don't know that word, and well-kept campus compares favorably with the best of its kind in the world and is positively the best in the Antilles. This is for Miss Esther Williams in Modesto, California. I have spent the... Uh, let's, let's see if we can see a date. It says San Juan, April 8th. I don't see a year. Uh, there's no zip code. So I, I'm going to say this is the early 60s or something like that. Look at the pen. Maybe the 50s. I have spent the last eight days here in San Juan, Puerto Rico on what I call a well-earned vacation. This is a wonderful spot to relax and rest. I'll be here at least two days more since the Dominican something, since the Dominican government is giving me a little trouble about my visa. Expect in a day or two, we'll write more Ed, Lindsay, I think. Out of, out of frame. It is out of frame. Next card, Western Antelope Family. This is an unusual card for us in this series. Typically, every card we look at is uh, some sort of vista or structure or, uh, you know, still life or something. Uh, it's, a, it's a building or a photograph of a building or a place. Not usually animals or people. And so, in, in this instance, we have a Western Antelope Family. It's also for Esther Williams. Times have changed. She's now at uh, the Driftwood Hospital in Skyline Forest in Monterey, which would this hospital had multiple names over the years. Um, interesting. At this point, it was called this. So it's 1985. Miss Williams. We saw many... We saw many, many antelope in Wyoming. They are all grouped together in bands of 50 to several hundred like sheep. It was cold here on New Year's Day. It was about 8 degrees above 0 degrees Fahrenheit all day. Even so, it was nice because it is so dry here. Your friend, Brenda Eden. We're kind of just getting into these uh, cards addressed to Esther Williams. We haven't had these you know, prior to... The last video. So I, I believe the first four of our installments were cards all addressed, all addressed to uh, to a woman named Kathleen. And then now, as of like the, a small portion of the last video, and then now this whole video is going to be, it looks like it's Esther Williams cards for Miss Esther Williams. Look at all these pelicans. That's a beautiful photograph. I love pelicans. They're they're really beautiful birds. When they're flying, they look like pterodactyls. And even up close, they kind of look a little like pterodactyls. Uh, and they're not shy. My personal experience is that this bird in the wild can be aggressive. It's not going to attack you. But if you're fishing, it will come right up to you. And you, can, you could like put something in its mouth and it will eat it and sit there and look at you right up close. Uh, I've had many interactions with these birds while crab fishing, 
And even the wild ones, uh, or only the wild ones, I've never seen a tame, it's silly, what am I talking about? Anyway, these are aggressive birds, they're not afraid of people. In many instances, they'll come right up to you if you're fishing. 1968, June, pelicans are a familiar sight at most river resorts in Queensland, Australia. So now Esther is in Carmel, and we have a zip code, and 1968, dear Esther, do you remember that I told you our pelicans are mostly white? And so she's right, because these pelicans in Australia are mostly white, and while our pelicans here in California are are mostly gray or brown or black. They're not white like this. Yours, you scarcely believed me about the white pelicans. There is evidence they are handsome birds and usually fairly tame. See, isn't that interesting? That's what I just talked about. Hmm, interesting. How are you? I'm just as busy as usual, but well. My... What does that say? Does it say Con Air? My something has at least made a... Some, no, it's some, some, her cancer. Is that cancer? Has at least made some reco fair recovery, though. She is... No, so, I don't know what the word is. I'm sorry. She is still having some trouble. She is... I don't know what's going on. It, sometimes it's hard for me. Please tell me her address when you know it. I must write to Dudley, too. I like that name, Dudley. Hope to hear you are well. Love from Olive. Wow, there's some good... I like these names. I like Dudley and Olive. Those are nice names. Look at that little kangaroo. Uh, so yeah, it's interesting that she talked about that they're fairly tame. So you know how... Here's, what I'll, here's how I'll explain it to you. You know how when you're at the park and you there might be a bunch of geese or ducks and maybe you're throwing bread in there and you're feeding them? You know how aggressive a goose can be or even a duck sometimes, but mainly a goose, they'll come at you and snap, 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 and they're kind of sketchy? These birds are the exact opposite. They are not sketchy at all. They are forthright and not fearful and somewhat aggressive, but they only want food and they won't attack you for it. They, their boundaries are sound. They, stay, they don't come up and peck at you or anything like nothing like that, like a goose. They're not going to chase you. But they'll come right up close and sit and wait for you to feed them, and they'll be polite about it, is how I would describe it, which it looks like that's what they're doing in that photograph. This is beautiful. Uh, we can kind of have an idea by looking at those weird vehicles over there, that this is maybe the 80s. Where is this? It's beautiful. Uh, the Cathedral in Paris, March 13th. The cathedral and another chapel at Palermo have wonderful old mosaics related in style to those of Ravenna. Ravenna. We have lovely clear days at Palermo and Pompeii and Cannes. We love Paris, but are about to leave it March 15th and set out for southern France in the something something. This is to Mrs. Henrietta Williams. It's the same address. I'm so perplexed. Love from Evelyn and Beatrice. So there's a connection between all these people. I mean, I don't know if if you're just jumping into uh, these videos, um, you might not pick up on it. But uh, a couple of these women that are on these postcards that either are writing the postcards or receiving the postcards are sisters. And then there's a group of friends um, that that also are writing both sisters um, is how I would describe it. And some of the people are of, are from Ireland. Some of the people that are writing and receiving these are, are uh, Irish immigrants, people, family members that live in Ireland, writing to family members that live in the United States, in California, mostly in Carmel is where these all came from. Carmel, California, from, uh, I would say, a retirement living type situation. And these were going to be thrown in the trash. And a lady asked me if I wanted them. And I said yes. And she gave them to me just like that. Dear Esther, my vacation in Bermuda is almost over. Here we are staying on the South Shore this time. I thought you would be interested in the view of downtown 
Hamilton. The policemen are wearing shorts this summer. Of course, traffic moves on the left. Gosling's is a well-known liquor store. The rose-colored buildings next to the house, to the something, something, the big ships come into the harbor to the right. Pushkin from the USSR is in now. How are you? Please write, love, Ruth. Let's see if we can figure out what she was talking about. Okay, so this is Bermuda, I think she said. Yeah. So this is Bermuda, a beautiful place. Oh, there's the Gosling's. That's the liquor store she was talking about on the left. Oh, and these are the police officers. She, these are the police officers she was talking about. But we're in, right now, presently, because of the weather, they're in shorts. She detailed for us. Oh, this is interesting and nice and different. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That's a beautiful piece, isn't it? I like this. I like this style. It's kind of loose, whimsical. There's something um, I just I just like the softness of it, the ease. It looks very uh, just smooth. Esther Carmel, 1972. Dear E, haven't heard from you for so long. Uh, nothing. Hope nothing is wrong. Do drop me a postcard at least. Summer has come at last after a miserable spring, so I can get out every day, and I feel so much better. A South African artist friend did this series of cards several years ago. Had my Toronto family here for so long, blah, and lately enjoyed them as I can't do any traveling. Love, MPB. June 72. Holiday in Paris by Nico. Very nice. Let's look at it again. South African, is that what you said? A South African artist friend did this series of cards several years ago. Oh, this is her friend. Nice. So yeah, that's beautiful. Cool. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I mean, this is kind of a I don't know. It's been a little bit awkward or not. Maybe not awkward. I don't know. I'm talking. My stuff is we're a little slow. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little off or something, but we'll get doesn't matter. I mean, you know, it just feels off to me. Maybe this is the first time you've seen one of these postcard videos and you're enthralled, but I doubt that it doesn't. You know, we'll, we'll see. This is a, a, a an advanced palette as a friend of mine named the centaur might say it may take an advanced palette to fully appreciate these videos um mrs eleanor rasp san jose and then riverside okay so this is a person who is not related to the other people and the other cards because i just know these certain facts dear eleanor Myrna, Muriel, um, Humphrey, Burnett, I can't, uh, da, 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 our state conference, and uh, we have, oh, it's so, tar it's so much, I can't just, let's just, just stop. Right soon, love Florence. So, it looks to me like Mrs. Eleanor Rasp, at this address, this is an incorrect address, and it looks like the post office put a line through that address, and then wrote this Riverside address down here. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, okay. Look at this. This is interesting. This is a, I'm just, we're going to just guess. So this is some sort of resort. This is a resort in the Southwest or Cal. Is this a Southwestern resort? I'm just guessing. Um, look at this gym. Just the 70s? Those people in the background? Look at these things that you would like. Oh, what are these things supposed to be doing? This is like supposed to, you're supposed to lay over this and this thing spins and it's supposed to, like, I don't know, the, just pummel your fat away? Is that what it is? Like pummeling your fat. Where are we? Hi, I was. No, it's Mexico. 
Holiday thoughts from old Mexico. Well, I guess it is the South. Rancho La Puerta in Tecate, Mexico. What are your highlights from the holidays? Here's the land of the Posada and the Piñata. Our Christmas has been one of giving. The traditional rancho celebration for the guests and for our huge staff whose children have learned to love our Norte Americano Santa Claus. An enormous party for the entire Mexican village of Tecate, given us given by us for a second year at the specific request of the gobernador, the, gober, the, the gobernador of the state of Baja California. The rancho received its gifts, own gifts and blessings during the year that is coming to a close. There was our beautiful blue gym with all its shining equipment, the culmination of our long building program. Many, many new accomp- accommodations. Oh, I can't. <laughs> that was cool, though. What? Feliz Año Nuevo, amigos. Okay. I hope that wasn't too offensive for any of you weirdos out there. Take this opportunity to, to be offended. But we got to get back to business. We're running out of time for this video. So we have to jump right into this probably last card or second to last card. Is this a dam? Is this Hoover Dam? Where is this? I don't know where it is. Grand Coulee Dam at night from Crown Point, 1982? I don't know. Eleanor Rasp again. She's in Seattle. This is an earlier card. Illuminated at night, this is what the visitor sees as he views the largest concrete river barrier ever created by man. More than 700 floodlights change colors from white to varying shades of yellow, red, green, and blue. Grand Coulee Dam, Berkeley, California. Dayton? Is this Ohio? Yeah, I really don't know, you guys. I don't. I never heard. Maybe I've heard of this Grand Coulee Dam. I don't think so. It sounds familiar, but I don't know, man. We did spend a night here. Wish our trailer with our trailer parked at almost the spot from which this picture was taken. Enjoyed the illumination, the trip through the dam, and Elizabeth left her padded jacket hanging in your back hall. Please send it. Love, Carmen. <laughs> It's my mother's name. Interesting, isn't it? So this is not my mother's handwriting, but this is my mother's name. So that's interesting. It's an unusual name. Carmen. Uh, last vid, or this is our last card. Aloha, or it's not. You know what? That was our last card. Was the Grand Coulee Dam? We we have to got to stop now this is going to be the last video right here so we're at the end of vintage postcards part six we're going to come back soon with vintage postcards part seven i hope you enjoyed looking at this stack of postcards we looked at starting with the next episode we'll be looking at this card from an airport in hawaii it looks like uh thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video Um, I hope you have a fantastic day, morning, or evening, and I'll talk to you next time.